Hey, what's up guys? It's Charles again. Um, just wanted to fill you in on the latest developments in the Foginator 2000 project. So, I've had some setbacks with getting some NeoPixels running on the Raspberry Pi 2. As it turns out, the library that existed for the Raspberry Pi B Plus is not compatible with Raspberry Pi 2 at the moment. So, I've had to kind of think creatively and get some stuff working. So, let me just go over, you this, go over the setup here really quick. Um, basically, I have a Raspberry Pi 2 with a Pi Sense hat. Um, I've had to buy the extra long uh, header pins from Adafruit because the ones that come with the Sense hat are not long enough for you to stick through the piece on top so you can connect uh, jumper wires. So um, with that out of the way, I was able to start connecting jumper wires straight to it with the Sense hat on. Um, so let's come over here. We have the standard fog machine controls that we've covered earlier with the motion sensor. Um, what's new is a strip of NeoPixels. Um, this is just a small strip I'm using for testing. And a Adafruit 16 pixel NeoPixel ring. Um, so like I said, I had to get creative in driving the NeoPixels. And, uh, for one, our, the Raspberry Pi does not output enough current to drive a full 60 pixel or 144 pixel strip um, by itself. So I've kind of built a, another 5 volt uh, voltage regulator circuit using a LM7805 voltage reg. Um, if you want to see how to build this, head over to the Trick or Trivia project and I cover it in there. Um, so. To drive the NeoPixels, like I said, the uh, Raspberry Pi 2 just wouldn't do it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm setting one of the GPIO pins here at the end. Um, I'm setting it as an output, and when the motion sensor over here senses motion, it not only trips the relay to fire the fog machine, but it sends this GPIO pin high. So what that GPIO pin goes to is an Arduino Nano. Um, so basically I have that GPIO pin going into the Arduino Nano's digital pin 8 and the Arduino's looking for that pin to go high and when that pin goes high it will trigger a little function I have that drives the NeoPixels. So I have both the NeoPixel ring and the NeoPixel strip connected to digital pin 6. And I did that because I wasn't going to run a separate function for each NeoPixel. I didn't want them to do separate lighting patterns. I wanted them to do the exact same lighting pattern just to kind of color the fog more consistently. And um, so, yeah, let's go over the code really quick. All right, so if we look at the Arduino code, You'll see that I'm running a version of uh, Adafruit strand test from the NeoPixel library. Um, I'm doing this just for simplicity and um, speed. As you know, I've kind of been a little behind due to weather here in South Carolina and the haunted house season going on. So I'm just using this because it just simplifies what I have to write. Um, so basically what's important is I'm initializing um, what I call RAS pin, and that's the incoming pin from the Raspberry Pi. And I'm creating an integer called val, and I'm setting val's value to zero. Um, then I've also, I have it to assign um, the RAS pin as an input. And then we can create our loop. So in the loop I say, I say to look for val. So val equals digital read RAS pin. So I'm telling it to read the input on RAS pin and then store that value up here in this integer. Um, and then I can say if val equals high, then wait for one second and then run the rainbow cycle function. So I won't run over the rainbow cycle function much, but basically it lights up the NeoPixels in a rainbow across the strip. Um, then I have an else statement that says else color wipe strip dot color zero 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 one hundred. So there's another function on here called color wipe, and all that does is color wipe fills the dots one after the other with a color. So I'm telling it to fill the dots one after the other with 
a color of 000, which is black, or in Unipixel speak, off. And I'm setting the brightness to 100, and that's just the way it is. Um, so now let's take a look at the Python script I wrote for the Raspberry Pi to run this. Um, so this is just a little test script I wrote. Um, I'm importing the raspi.gpio library, um, the time library, and the system library. Um, I'm setting up the GPIO pins as you would in anything. I'm using the BCM schema. Um, and I wrote a function called firefog. It turns pin 21 to true, which pin 21 is the GPIO pin going to our Arduino. So it sets it to high, then waits two seconds, then GPIO.output4 turns to true, so that turns on our fog machine. We wait 10 seconds, turn off our fog machine, wait 20 seconds, then turn off our, uh, we set our GPIO pin to low that's going to the Arduino. Then we clean up the GPIO pins and exit. So now, I have a in my in my loop down here I have a time.sleep3. So once it's triggered it waits three seconds. And then if input uh, 17, which I don't have defined up here yet, that's for that uh, that's for that fog machine's ready LED. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna implement that or not. I'm having some trouble with it, but maybe we'll see. We'll see if I get around to it. But then I'm calling the fire fog function. So let's check it out. And you can see I've kind of been devving all night. Um, so if I run, I'm going to run it. It's going to wait three seconds for motion. And when I trigger motion, it kicks over and the LEDs come on. They do their thing for a few seconds and they'll turn off. Um, I really wish I could have got the NeoPixels working with the Raspberry Pi too, um, but for now this solves the issue. I'm uh, really excited to you know, finish up these projects in time for Halloween, um, and it pretty much means I have to get it done this week. Um, so these should be turning off here in just a second. I have them running for about one minute, um, and that's just while the fog dissipates. They'll you know, illuminate the fog. And there they go, turning themselves off. So let's take a look at that one more time. I have a little light here I'm gonna turn off. And uh, I'm gonna pause you. Okay, so with the lights off, you can see my computer glowing under there. Anyway, with the lights off, I'm gonna run that one more time. And maybe we'll see some better color. Yeah, I triggered it. We're gonna wait three seconds and then trip it. And you can see the rainbow from the LEDs. Happens. And you can see it's looking. Okay, I triggered it. And then the NeoPixels run for another 20 seconds. Just kind of coloring things. and they should turn off. So, um, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, one thing I need to cover really quick is, let me turn on the light. Is, you don't have to use a a custom built circuit like this if you didn't order the stuff for it in your kit you can simply just add a 5 volt 1 amp or 2 amp little wall wart to power the circuit um, I just like building my own little purpose-built power supplies because I'm a geek like that anyway thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video